Mm -hmm. Really quick sort of update. I've got the Merlins going, so we've got one in hardwood. So he's on his way. That's in a Kydex sheath. Got two in black micarta. Very sweet. See all that. Which explains emblem there. So yeah, he's sharp. Just there, and a the second one. Once again, Kydex sheath. Tidy, tidy. Starts right, very nice. Um, Ron then messaged me, and for his brown one with brown codex and bright yellow liner, he wanted a matching fire still. Um, so I had an idea of doing the fire still loop that's doubled over on the back, so it's two layers rather than just straight and then loop. Now I want it to be strong. It's just me. So here's that one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that will be an option in the future. I'll give you a price on those. I got to rob the bits from uh, TechLock gear, but we had a source to the fittings for that. Uh, Mike number one is done. There's your Iroko uh, fur rod. I'll just blunt his assos. All the way up. You can't have a knife that's that short when it's that big. It's freaking impossible. Go lock. 75 spring steel. You need to hit me up, you guys. Prices. What do you do? So. Had to be done. So, number one, the mic. I bought me steel this month. Uh, Brummy. And North Wales, you got one of these. These are in bog oak, so they're on their way. Um, Stephen Zabo, there's your Iroko fire steel for the goal up that you've contacted me about. Um, one of these is staying. I've got a Leku coming through, which is, which is going to get burl on it. And those two are from my they're in Burrow. So basically it's packing for the rest of the day. Got Scott from Wessex Blade signing off. Well the bare arse to Bristol. How on earth can you churn out stuff like that, E Williams? I mean, just go on down. Make a hell of a mess. Just playing, mate. Eh? Yeah. 